Hi, I'm Captain Bob and welcome to my workshop. We're going to have a lot of fun today. You know, we have some questions from your school and let's get right to the first one. This one is really fun. What is it like to float in space? That's a really great question. You know, right now they have a place called the International Space Station and it orbits the Earth at about 200 miles above us where we are right now, way up in space, and it goes around the Earth every hour and a half. Now up there on the space station, I have a model of it right up here. Uh, on the space station, there are big solar panels on the side here and they rotate to follow the sun as it goes around the Earth. And you see these silver compartments that are all along here, well, that's where people live. They live inside. Now, the thing is, inside the space station, you don't need spacesuits. You know, that's for outside the space station, which we'll do later on. We'll talk about that another time. But inside, well, you just have to have your, uh, just a shirt and clothes on and just float around. You don't, you don't even need shoes. All you need are socks. <laughs> and you can float around and you eat in there and you work on your computers on the inside and all that too. So it's a lot of fun to actually live in space. And here's something you can try at home. It's a lot of fun. Next time when mom or dad says, well, it's time to take a bath, instead of saying, oh no, I don't want to take a bath or fighting it, I want you to look forward to taking a bath. I'll tell you why. Because you'll see what it's like to float in space if you do. Now, when you settle down in your bathtub and the water's all nice and warm, I want you to just lie back in the bathtub and relax. Just let your arms kind of relax at your side. Don't try to move them around or anything. And you'll notice something strange. Pretty soon after you're relaxed in the tub, your arms at your sides, if you relax them, will not float all the way up to the top of the water and not float all the way down to the bottom of the tub. They'll actually start to float right next to you in the water. And if you close your eyes and think a little bit about what your arms feel like, well, they're weightless right there, right? And that's what it's like to float in space. Now to move from one end of the space station to the other or one side of a compartment to the other, all you need is to use your finger. Just push against the side and you'll start to float all the way over to the other side. And there is no up and down in space either because you can have a bedroom that's up above you or to the side of you or below you and you just float into your bedroom and you slip into a sleeping bag and then you just relax in your arms just like in the bathtub we talked about will float right in front of you like this and it's the most relaxing thing in the world. And now I want to show you some videos about how astronauts float in space. It's a lot of fun. The videos you're going to see were all taken really up in space on that real space station. So we'll have a lot of fun with that. So I want... Oh, of course, Robbie wants to come with us too. <laughs> like I said, he and I love going to the movies. So Robbie, say hello real quick to the kids. Okay, cool. Now let's go to the movies. This is air traffic control. You're cleared for takeoff.
Well, that was a lot of fun. You know, I love going to the movies. I know you do too. And of course, Robbie absolutely loves going to the movies too. But you know what? There's something I want to show you how you can make, which should be a lot of fun too. You know, right here, I have this. Now, this is a model of the space station that you can build at home. You see, it has the solar panels on it. It has places where you can live inside. And all you need is some simple things from around the house, some toilet paper rolls, like I talked about, paper towel rolls, a little bit of cardboard, and you print out all the pages yourself too. It's a lot of fun to make. And I want you to try to make this. Go to my website, rocketsandrobots.com, and you'll be able to make your own space station, which I think is pretty cool too. Until next time, this is Captain Bob signing off. And remember, keep exploring, because the future belongs to you.